всі наші захисники і захисниці. President Zelensky didn't pull his punches in his address to the nation tonight, saying it's just a shame to see people lacking the courage to honestly deal with the turbine issue. He called Canada's decision unacceptable and said it will be read in Moscow as a manifestation of weakness. His government also summoned Canadian Ambassador Larissa Galadza to lodge a protest. It was an unaccustomed rebuke for a government that likes to see itself as one of Ukraine's strongest allies. We have to act with urgency. Conservatives also condemned the decision. That is fueling Putin's war machine that is paying for the missiles raining down on Ukraine. As did the NDP. This decision undermines uh, all of that solidarity that so many Canadians have shown right across the country. Uh, support for the democracy in Ukraine and support for what Ukrainians are living through. The Russian government was quick to mock the move and to remind Europeans of the hold it has over them. Vladimir Putin says the economic blitzkrieg against Russia has failed. The Trudeau government has argued the decision isn't that simple. No one's going to benefit from having um, Central Europe be in the cold this winter. If ordinary European citizens are asked to make too many sacrifices, they may stop supporting the war effort in Ukraine. Which makes it harder to explain why Germany's Bundestag last week voted to close three nuclear power plants this winter. Germany's Greens, part of the governing coalition, have long wanted to get rid of nuclear power. Those plants are being closed many years ahead of schedule. Germany's choosing to shut down 13 percent of its generating capacity, even as it pleads energy poverty to justify dropping sanctions. Evan Dyer, CBC News, Gatineau.